hello and welcome to another video and in today's video we'll look at the control flow statements in golang so the control flow statements are uh, of three types one is if statement another is if else statement and third one is if else if statement so let me show you with an example i will take a simple example of if statement so if we have if and then true for example and curly braces open and close curly braces this means this if statement will run whenever this value is true and we can just print it out anything we want if it's true and if you go ahead and run this it will say if is true what if you make this as false then it will not run because if is false so this is a simple syntax of if statement so let me make it exciting and what we can do is we'll take two variables suppose a colon equal to let's suppose 10 and b colon equal to 20. now let's check which one is bigger and which one is smaller so for that we'll use if statement if a is greater than b then we'll say fmt.println we'll say a is bigger and if b is greater than a or you can write if a is less than b we can say b is bigger and if you go ahead and run this it will say b is bigger because b is 20 if you make a is 30 it will say a is bigger so this is a simple example so in here i have used a relational operators greater than and less than we'll also add one more operator suppose if a is equal equal to b then we will say both are equal right and if you go ahead and run this before that let's make b also 30 and if you run this it will say both are equal and there are many other relational operator for example if a is greater than equal to b and then if a is less than equal to b so these are also relational operators in here you can see that it is printing all the values suppose a is bigger than b is bigger and both are equal that is because both of them are equal here if you go ahead and make this as 40 and let's remove this one let's remove this one just comment out and if it is 40 here then it will say a is bigger because right now it is both are equal here so these are all the relational operators now let me show you some logical operators also and we'll what we'll do is i'll just comment here as relational operators and we put less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to and equal equal to okay and for now it, i'll comment this out and now let's look at logical operators so logical operators are of three types first one is and so that is ampersand and ampersand second one is or so these are two pipe symbols and the third one is not 
so for this example what i will do is i'll take one more variable c colon equal to let's suppose 50 and we'll make a is equal to 30 30 40 50 so we'll write a code to check uh, which one is greater in among these three variables so if a is greater than b and if a is greater than c then we'll say a is biggest for example same applies for b also if b is greater than a and b is greater than c we'll say b is biggest else here and if not we'll say c is biggest because c is the only remaining variable so keep in mind that you don't bring else to the next line you just have to have it the same line if you go ahead and run this let's clear this out it will say c is biggest because c has the 50 value or if you make this as 70 as a it will say a is biggest and it will say c is also biggest because it is uh, not chaining up with this uh, if statement so here you can see it is one if statement then this is chained up to if else statements okay so this is one block of code and this is one block of code so that's why I keep in mind that you have to chain the blocks of code so if you make this like this if else if this one else this one if you go ahead and run this it will say a is biggest so this you have to keep in mind you have to chain up the if else blocks so here you can see i have included all the three types first one is only if second one is if else if and the third one is uh, else if else so these are the three types of uh, if statement you can use and along with the logical operators so let me give an example of uh, or also here and for that what we can do we can just comment this out and let's make it one more variable if a is greater than suppose 50 or a is less than 100 okay then we'll say a lies in between 50 and 100 and it will give an error here because warning here because we have not used b and c so let's go ahead and run this it will say a lies in between 50 and 100 that is because a is 70 and it is checking either one of this condition either a is greater than 50 or a less than 100 so what if you make it as uh, more than 100 suppose 150 if you go ahead and run this again it will say a lies a lies in between 50 and 100 that is because it is checking either one of this condition so it is checking first for a is greater than 50 that is true and next we'll check a is less than 100 it is not but in between there is a or sign so anyone if it is true then it will say it will run the code that is uh, put inside this block so this is the beauty of or statements and what if we have if you want to show the not statement let me comment this and not you don't need to comment that and not will work as if not equal to false suppose it will print 
not false is true we'll say and if you go ahead and run this it will print true because not false is always true if you make this as true not true is false so it will not print true you can see it is false because not true is false so this if block will not run this if block will run only if this is true so when this is true it is only true when it is not false so not false means it converts false into true due to this not symbol or it is you can say not operator one more very important thing you should know in golang is there is something called as uh, in other languages we have exception try catch ex exception blocks are there when we can ha handle the errors but in golang we don't have that in place of that we can use if statements so if we get an error we can check if it is not equal to nil and inside here we can handle the error so this is the way you can handle the errors using if statement so right now it is error is undefined but in golang programs you will have these errors which will be coming from different packages and all and one more thing is that you can uh, initialize a value inside if statement also for example if you have a variable called num you can have num colon equal to let's suppose 100 then you can put semicolon so this will create an initializer initializer syntax then we can say num is greater than 0 for example and we can just print it out as a is positive if you go ahead and run this a declare but not used because of this now if you run this you will get number is positive so this is how we can use initializer here in the if statement and we can check also we can do all sorts of things here suppose num percent 2 is equal equal to 0 we will say num is even so this is also you can do you can say number is even so this is how you can work with the if else statements or control flow statements in golang thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video